Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a quick look at Projected GAN. What is this? Well, it tells us in the About section, Projected GANs converge faster. Ooh, okay, let's scroll down and see what is going on. Well, we've got a project, a PDF, a supplementary and a talk. Okay, let's have a quick look at some of these things. Uh, ooh, this GIF is generated by a Projected GAN trained on four images. Four images? That's ridiculous. What's this TLDR? Training GANs in pre-trained feature spaces improves image quality, training speed and sample efficiency what it, it's faster and it's better quality that's 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 two things the, and and sample of it what it projected gans match the previously lowest fids in up to 40 times faster cutting the wall clock from five days to less than three hours given the same computational resources absolutely ridiculous but never mind so there you go it's faster and it's better faster and better Faster and better. I like that. So let's have a look at the paper. So there, they have some proofs. So you can have a look through all that. Let's, let's just scroll through this really quickly because it looks really technical, doesn't it? But it's okay because we get loads of numbers and they're in bold. The bold ones are better. Lower scores are good. And as you can see, projected can again uh, is there wiping the board for, for the most part, for the most part. So yes, it, it is doing very well. It is doing very well on most different types of data sets. So they've got a variety of different data sets. They've tested it across there and even shown it to some humans too. Now this one's quite interesting here. Animal faces, projected GAN 55%. Hmm. The actual data, 34%. Okay, well done on animal faces. I like that one. I like that one. And uh, if you want to have a look at some of the images yourself there, page eight and down, you can uh, see we recommend zooming in for comparison. Bop. Okay, there we go. We've, we've zoomed in a little bit. Yeah. So we've got uh, StarGAN2 ADA there, whoops, <laughs> and uh, FastGAN and Projected GAN. So there we've got some faces, and uh, yeah, so that's that's better quality faces, uh, faster. Yeah, so there, FID, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, that's it's, it's, yeah, yeah, they do look quite good. I mean, we've still got a little bit of weirdness going on in, in the hair, and, and that's just strange. But then you've also got strangeness going on here, so... But, you know, you have to compare them and think, yeah, it, it, I think it is, I think it is overall better. But they've got loads more pictures, so you can have a look yourself and go, oh, oh, yes, I want me, I want me some of this that's both faster and more better. -er. So, so here it is. Here it is, initial code release. They haven't got any pre-trained models. There isn't an easy to use collab and they don't have StarGAN3 support. But do we care? No, because it's faster and better. So requirements. Let's, let's have a pop over here. So I am using Ubuntu 2004 and I suggest you do exactly the same with your NVIDIA GPU, which should have at least 8 gig of VRAM, ideally more. Now, obviously, you've already got your NVIDIA drivers and the NVIDIA toolkit installed, haven't you? Yes, I am using Anaconda here, but you could use Miniconda too. You could use another virtual environment, but then you can't use this really handy environment.yml file. So anyway, go ahead and download that code. If you're not sure what that URL is, then you can always click there copy paste it and it is of course this one up here is down in the description as well so that's absolutely fine right so you get cloned it you've, you've changed into the directory you've created your environment from that lovely environment file they have provided and you can conda activate pg because it gives you that name now the next thing you will need is a data set of some sort. So here I have got a bunch of data sets with a variety of images from 14,000 down to about 100. Uh, I've tested it on a few of these. I've tested it on cats, which is less than 3,000. Also doors and flowers. As you can see, just a couple of hundred images in there. So there's a door, for example. Now, these are all generated using the Russian Dali. Are you Dali? Uh, if you haven't seen my video on that, then there's probably a, a thing clicky thing up the top there that you can click on and that'll go oh here's all about are you Dali and all that stuff but anyway so there you go 50 odd yeah yeah or 200 odd pictures of, of doors that you know they're, they're sort they're sort of doors they're sort of doors so it, it's good enough for testing because uh yeah it's it can be annoying making making data sets so yeah I use are you Dali to make a lot of test data sets so there you go so you got your data set you got your between four and, and four thousand images whatever you want to put in there next you will need to create the uh the data set using this data set tool now if you've used stargan or fastgan before you'll probably be a bit familiar with this because it's almost exactly the same so there you go you pass it the source which is uh, that directory we've just seen and the destination which is the zip file you want to create and uh, the resolution and if you want to do any transformations mine are of course perfect so i don't have to do anything they're all 512 by 512 already but 
you know, you can just center crop them if you've got a, an unsorted data set there. So yeah, that, that's quite nice. Little feature built into a data set tool. Anyway, that will eventually give you your zip file. As you can see in here, I've got a whole bunch of zip files, loads of different data sets in there, and you will be ready to train on one of those. So again, very much like StyleGAN, you will specify your output directory, which configuration you want to use. Now, unlike StyleGAN, uh, this is basically uh, either FastGAN or StyleGAN2. So one of those two, one of those two. If you've got a little tiny data set, say 100 images, I would suggest using FastGAN. If you've got a massive 10,000 face portrait thing, then uh, yeah, use, use StyleGAN2. Uh, and the data there is obviously the zip file you created earlier. How many GPUs you have? I, of course, only have one. Uh, batch number, you'll probably want to create, the, uh, keep that the same because it will uh, gradient accumulate depending on this one over here. This is the one, how many batches are you going to run on your GPU at any one time? That's the thing that eats your VRAM. So if you want to uh, save a little bit of VRAM and you're, you're finding, oh, hang on, I'm getting loads of out of memory errors, uh, then drop your batch GPU down. Snap is how often it will save snapshots. I've set snap to 10 there. Uh, I found on 512 by 512 ticks take about four minutes on 3090. So snap 10 uh, gives me a updated snapshot um, about every 40 minutes or so. So yeah, that, that's about right for, for looking at things for me. Uh, and of course, if you want to resume from a, a previous run, then you can just add minus minus resume on the end and that will carry on all automatically for you and appear in the same directory. So unlike Stargan, you won't get a new directory. It will appear in here as well. So training runs here. I think I, I think I carried on on this one. Yes, I did. So you'll get a different events file there and it will just carry on and you'll still get the fakes and it might generate you know, a, a, an odd extra pickle for you. Uh, but yeah, it will carry on in the same directory and just keep going. So yeah, the resume works very nicely as well. Anyway, eventually um, you will have, you know, if you've got eight GPUs, then you only need three hours. Uh, but uh, if you haven't got that, then you'll need about ooh, eight times that amount. Um, I left one training overnight, which isn't quite the right amount, but it was still very good anyway. Uh, and that was the cats one. Most of them I've only left uh, running for a few hours anyway and they are still quite good so you will have a pickle eventually and uh, then you'll want to uh, generate some things with it now i've got a bunch of pickles so uh, let's let's generate some things there we go uh, now this is the this is the cats this is the one i've left training for the longest uh whoops let's have a look in the training runs training runs cats cats there we go so this is a stargan 2 config uh, and this went all the way up to 846 there are some of the fakes there you go, quite a weird selection of cats, but then it was quite a weird selection of cats going in. Those are the reels. <clears throat> Never mind. now they started off like that. So yeah, yeah, it, it, it did quite well. It did quite well. That's, uh, that's fakes 800. So let's have a quick generation on that. That will generate us some little cat images. There we go. Generating some things and they all go in out. So there we go. We've got some cats little herky face cat there yeah yeah that's that's a variety of cats isn't it i know i know that isn't really very much of a cat but yeah you've you've seen my data set going in you saw the reels <laughs> yes they were once again generated by are you dali so there you go you can have infinite cats generated you can also generate infinite cat videos as well which is what the internet was made for isn't it yes yes i think so i think so so there we go here we are generating a cat video <laughs> with uh, seeds 0 to 31 in a grid 4 by 2. So that's exactly the same as they have on here. When you scroll down, scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. So there we've got the uh, generating the video with the grid. Uh, you can also generate the metrics. What I tend to do is turn metrics off. I didn't mention that earlier. So there, when you're doing the training run, much like you do in Stargan, uh, minus minus metrics equals none, we'll turn the metrics off, makes it a little bit faster. I personally don't care about metrics. You may do. You may not want to turn your metrics on, uh, <laughs> off. Um, so there you go. And you can also use a uh, progressive GAN in your own project. So there is a little bit of information about that. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So it is faster, it's better, and there's more of it, I think. Well, at least two of those three things are true. So let's have a quick look at this cat video, which has now been generated. There we go. We got some cats. Check that. Sweet. So there you go. You can you can create your own cat videos and do things. Yeah, on the internet with 
computers and stuff. There you go. Have fun. Nerdy Rodent, signing out.